Sultan from Wollongong. Um, I'm just going to show you how to dig soil and why, why soil goes lumpy. So this soil here has been covered with um, some mulch. So when you dig soil, don't dig any chip mulch into the ground. You can dig compost. Chip mulch is not good to be dug into the ground, so we'll take off some mulch. And I'll just show you this little patch here. So the soil's good, it's nice and moist underneath. Now say if I were to just dig it over like this and leave it there, that's no good. That will stay in a hard lump. So what you've got to do is hit it with the back of the spade. Break it down. I sort of rub it across break it down to the fine tilt and do that we can't go any deeper here because there's roots of this viburnum so we can only do this as a shallow dig but see how I'm breaking down the clods you need to do that straight away when you're digging so if you do it straight away you can see that the clods break up pretty nicely. They're a little tiny bit sticky, which would mean this is a, a light clay. So over here, if you follow me this way, I'll show you what happens if you dig it and leave it on the ground, and or if you dig it when it's too wet. So this way here, so this soil here has been dug, uh, maybe when it's too wet, I'm not sure because I wasn't here, but you get these hard clods, impossible. Trish, can you just step out of the way a bit so I can see, because um, the shade, can't see it in the shade, yeah, that's it. Yeah, so that's a really hard clod mm -hmm. and I can't squash it like I could over there in the same bed and that's because... Um, it was either dug when it was too wet or the it wasn't hit with the back of the spade and it was moist. So this is going to be hard to break down to a fine tilth now. But um, yeah, it's possible, but it really, really wrecks your soil. So it's